Welcome back to A Current Affair. We'll bring you the results of our Connie Chung phone poll later in the show. Here in Los Angeles, some celebrities get their stars on Hollywood Boulevard. Others get their epitaphs. Alexander Goodenough died mysteriously last week in a landmark building that's been home to many a star rising and falling. Special correspondent Allison Holloway takes a look. Hey, take a chance. Alexander Goodenough worked so hard to obtain physical perfection. So when his body was found last week, the immediate question was, how could he have died so young? And when his doctor and the sheriff shrugged it off to natural causes, the inevitable rumors began. Goodenough was only 45, in the care of a nurse. A former ballet dancer, he lived and died in West Hollywood, the gay heart of Southern California. The rumor said it had to be AIDS. But before his publicist came clean, the answer was clear to anyone who lived in Goodenough's neighborhood, to those who frequented the many clubs, cafes and shops here in the middle of the Sunset Strip. They've known for some time that Alexander Goodenough was drinking himself to death. It was not a surprise. You could see it coming from a long time since uh, anybody who knew him knew that he had a tremendous problem with alcohol. Um, very, very nice guy, very troubled guy. From the beginning. And now, this artist, who seemed lost in the shuffle of Hollywood, is destined for Hollywood's scandal Hall of Fame. All because of the way Alexander Goodenough died and where he died, a building that was already a stop on the Hollywood sightseeing circuit, including that morbid Graveline tour. The tall brown apartment building on our right was uh, made famous in 1969 when Diane Linkletter jumped from her sixth floor kitchen window on the left side corner of the building. Alexander Goodenough defected from the Soviet Union in a blaze of headlines. He was a paparazzi favorite as the boyfriend of Jacqueline Bissett and he seemed destined for a major movie career. He starred with Harrison Ford. Uh, in... 